Velux Active is the newest addition to our product range. It's a product that's designed to work with smart home technology to help create a healthy internal environment with minimal effort. In this video, we'll show you the key component parts which makes up the starter kit, as well as taking you through the simple setup process to get you up and running. This is the Velux Active starter kit. The key components of which are your gateway. The gateway will be plugged into a mains power supply and this, as the name would imply, links your home Wi-Fi to the products themselves. We have the departure switch. This will be located near your main exit point and allows you to just lock the system down so the sensors aren't operating when you're out of the house. And finally, we have the sensor. The sensor monitors the air quality within your home, the temperature and the humidity levels. And this is the key part to help provide a healthy internal environment. So the first thing we need to do to get the system up and running is to go onto the App Store and download the Velux Active app. Once you have that installed on the phone and open it up, it's just a simple case of following the step-by-step -step process that the app will take you through. So to begin with, our first screen is a little welcoming screen. So you're just gonna simply press Start. The next step is to advise you to connect the gateway to a mains power supply so it can start to synchronize with your home Wi-Fi system. So we tap next. It's now advising us that we're gonna look for a flashing light on the back of the gateway just to advise that everything is operational and that it's now ready to synchronize. Once we're happy it is, we tap I can see it to show that we can see the light glowing on the gateway. Now it's searching for the actual gateway to synchronize it into the app itself. Once it finds a gateway, the app will then bring up a list of networks for you to connect to. So if there are multiple options, obviously make sure that you pick your home Wi-Fi connection and then just tap next. It'll explain that it's setting up the accessory to that particular network and you're just waiting for a confirmation message and we're ready to then start adding sensors and things like this. So it's now found the network, it's connected, so I just tap done. And the next stage will be just to ask us to confirm that this is the first time we're setting up the gateway. So now we have a nice well done, everything is configured and we can forward on while we wait for the gateway to be completely configured. So our next stage is we have to create a home. What we're actually doing is creating a connection between the products and the actual app itself. So we just tap on create a new home and you can give this a name. So the next step is confirming that everything's done and is now asking you to gather together all of the relevant sensors and switches that you want to assign to this particular app. So once you have everything there, tap on it's done. And the next step is somewhat stating the obvious, but it's asking you to now fit the batteries into the relevant switches and sensors so that everything is powered up and ready to go. So once the batteries are in, we tap it's done and straight away we will see that it's saying new switches detected. So once the switches have been identified and you're happy that we found all of the ones that we should have, we'll see an image here that shows what we've captured and then we just tap continue. The next thing we need to do is to now register the actual products that we want to be operated via the sensors. So that's what the screen's explaining here. So we just tap on next and it will start to ask you which type of remote control your windows are using. Of course, the advantage with Velux Active it's, is that it works on any Integra window, whether it be the previous generation, the current generation, whether it's solar powered or mains powered, or whether it's a conversion kit or an Integra. So there could be a few options for you to choose from on the style of remote control you have. If you don't recognize the remote control on that first screen, you simply tap, I don't have these switches, and it gives you a few other alternatives. Once you find the one that you have, we then tap on the particular switch, and it gives you very specific instructions for how you're gonna copy these products across. Now, the two windows that we're registering are both controlled by the same KLI switch. So this is now advising me to just simply tap the button within the setup cog and it will transmit the signal for me to register into the app. So using a paperclip or similar, we just come into the left hand 
hole on these two up two at the base of the switch press that and once we press that we then tap on it's done and it will now start to search for the products that are being copied across it's now telling me that it has detected products it's now just going through the full copy process so we just have to wait a little while for it to add them into the app our next step now determines the different switches that we've already registered and asks us to assign the switches to a particular room. So here we have the departure switch. We can also now add the sensor itself. So we can now have our sensor here and we can confirm that that's what we want to add and we can now create a new room. When you go into create a room, there are some preset ones such as living room, bedroom, etc. But if you wish to make them very personalized, you can tap in your own room name. For the purpose of this, we'll just pick the bedroom. With everything in the bedroom, we can now just simply tap, it's done, and our products are there. The last message is just to finish the installation, and that's the final part of the registration. We now have our operation screen, so we have our products registered in the particular rooms, and we can actually start using them from here if we wish. Of course, if you wanted to, you could just operate the windows using the app by itself, but you're only getting half of the benefit of active. You want the, the sensors to obviously be able to operate on your behalf, but you have the ability to manually operate them if you wish. So to manually operate them, you would just go into the particular room. We then highlight the product and we can just slide that along there to operate it. So as I release the button, that will determine how far the windows are going to open. So as I let go, the windows will now start to operate. The one thing to bear in mind, the system is inherently set up to be operated via sensors. So if you do manually override them, the sensors won't kick back in until the next following day or basically just after midnight. We hope this video has been beneficial in showing you just how simple it is to set up the Velux Active Package. But of course, if you'd like to find out more about the system and the setup process, you can go onto our website where we have a section set up specifically for the active system. Or alternatively, please feel free to contact our customer service team, we'll be happy to help.